Hey everyone, Paul here. I'm just jumping into my own YouTube channel briefly <laughs> uh, just to show you this uh, really cool uh, little add-on that's coming up in Blender 3.4. The add-on is called Story Pencil and it's going to facilitate the process of storyboarding in Blender. Uh, it's still in development and so that's why they're still making it an add-on, blah blah blah. There's a whole story behind that. But um, I did manage to get it working and I just wanted to demystify it a little bit for you if you wanted to test it out yourself. Um, so in 3.4 alpha that I just downloaded, it's already there in your preferences list for add-ons. You gotta go over to testing and I'm just going to go story and there it is, sequencer, story pencil, storyboard tools. So you just enable that and this is how it works. I've opened up a fresh 2D animation startup file so everything is default here. It will be automatically in draw mode. So we go to our draw menu and at the bottom there is this setup storyboard session option. We click on that and it flips over to the video editing workspace. This is just automated everything ready for you to storyboard. What's it done? Well, it's created this strip, which is a scene in which you're editing in. Uh, and it's created a couple of other scenes. It's got a base scene and an edit scene, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, that's all under the hood type stuff. You also have this little tab here that says story pencil for when we have to uh, relabel things with scenes or automate some processes like name prefix or suffix, that sort of thing. Uh, but we'll just leave it on strip for now so that I can show you how this works. All right, so with this scene strip selected, I can hit edit and it will switch workplace. There is an option if you prefer to open that workspace as a new window. Um, I don't really see the point because it's all in the same file. So I'm gonna leave that off and I hit edit. It switches back to 2D animation. And as you can see, we're looking through the camera. Now everything has got a 0.001 because this scene has duplicated everything from the base scene. And we can proceed to draw something. So I'm going to draw a little character here, right? Go. Blip. Hi. Right. <laughs> there he is saying hi. And then you go back to the VSC. Now I can just go here to an arbitrary number of frames. And now if I'm going to do a new sequence, I'm going to hit new and I can call this shot two, and I edit shot two. So now this should have a new uh, stroke object on there. And what I want to do is I want to, oh, so let's reset all my brushes. Uh, I want to go back to ink pen and I'm going to go bye, right? Uh, and then you just go back to VSE. Now, because we've got two clips, this means that these are independently manipulatable. They've got their own grease pencil objects on those scenes. Yes, it creates uh, scenes as we go. And so that's how it works with the VSE rather than grease pencil. And each of those scenes uh, have got its own uh, you know, properties and objects and, and whatnot. So let's say that we uh, wanted to edit this scene over here. Let's go to edit and we go, let's say to frame 20 and we wanted to add another keyframe on this. So maybe it's an in-between where he's just thinking about leaving. So we're going to, you can see the onion skinning here and he looks off to the side thinking about it. We can go back to the VSE, um, but, but we put this on frame 20 but we want it to be a little bit sooner. Well, let's just edit, go split clip. Let's go up to where we're at, split the clip again, and we can select this. Uh, we can take that away and we can edit in that scene. And now those frames, right, are, you know, easily editable within the VSE before we jump into shot two which is another sequence. I really like this method. I, I think it's uh, very useful. It organizes things already for me. Um, you know, each scene can be a shot or a sequence. So you can change 
sets or you can change characters or whatever but I haven't overly used this yet but I can definitely see the potential and how it's going to be a very powerful tool for storyboarding so uh, it's worth checking out I just wanted to demystify it a little bit because uh, mainly um, the documentation isn't quite there yet and all the demos are just like hey check out this new feature and how wonderful it is yes you'll be able to storyboard and I'm just like great I don't get it <laughs> so um, I hope this demystifies it a little bit for you. All right, see you later, guys.